Okay, so today we are gonna be doing headshots and athletic shots. I'm not doing a whole lot of homework intentionally leading up to these shoots because I kind of want to be um, creating on the fly here because I think it's helpful to share my thought process on how I get a shot, starting with nothing. This is a relatively new studio space that I'm working in. I'm just getting a feel for what kind of light I even want to use, if it's natural light or artificial light. Based on the light coming through right now, this is like incredible natural light. So we're gonna try to find our angle. This has potentials though for like some really nice light. Like this might work. Okay, so the backlight that was coming out of the window was really bright. There's still light coming through the window, um, but not directly onto hair. It was just too much of a highlight. It was overexposing hair where we're losing all detail. So what I'm gonna do is block that light let some of it come through, bounce around the white walls in here so there's some really nice diffused light bouncing around the room. And then I'm gonna use a strobe with a strip box, a one by three soft box, as a hair light. Honestly, the longer, the part that takes more time is lighting. The part that is the quickest is actually getting the shot. Here is where we're at right now with lighting. Natural sunlight coming on this side and then artificial light on this side, and now I'm gonna add an overhead light to sort of balance that light on face. Check it out, we have this as an overhead strip box light, we have a hair light behind, these are both one by three soft boxes, and then we have a lot of natural light coming through the back window. There's a really fine balance with actor headshots and model shots. So many small little differences to it that will dictate what mark it's in, and you don't want an actor headshot to look like a modeling shot. It's really up to the photographer to light it the right way and also give you the direction for it. So that's on me, not you. Good. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna get great shots. Okay, so if you get an idea of lighting, obviously these are test shots. She's 21, we want to keep her about age appropriate, maybe even a little bit younger for the parts that she auditions for. I don't want something that's too moody or dramatic. I like the lighter background, it just happens to be the natural white behind her. So we're gonna keep things about like this. Okay, the working goal with this, and you're gonna hear me say this in almost every video, the working goal is to get three to five amazing shots out of each look. If you go past the three to five mark, you're gonna start repeating what you already have. So when you're shooting with people, anything for that matter, be confident in knowing what you have when you have it and to cut it and go to the next. Your clients will pick up on your insecurities if you're not sure that you do have it and trust your instincts. And a good way to navigate this decision making is actually share your pictures with your client and go through them together and let them make decisions too. Oh, really, I really like this. I don't like this. Can we try this? This way you kind of have a collaborative effort and moving forward to the next look and not wasting time and energy. Great. Yep, chin down to touch. This, you're right there. And then chin back towards me. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Really nice. Okay, done with this one. <laughs> that's really nice. Yep. Good, check it out. So you get a, a feel for like this one. Oh, These are really pretty too. Yeah. Done, we got it with this. Sweet, all right, high five on the headshots. Check. So now we're gonna do the fitness stuff. And I'm thinking we're gonna use the white background for this. I'm gonna use a be small beauty dish so I get some hard shadowing but not too harsh. And I'm gonna use a, a strip, strip light soft box. Again, a one by three to fill in some of the shadowing and also get the exposure balanced on the rest of her body. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Hands on hips again, but keep positioning the same, yeah. Love it, hands on your hips, but same kind of energy level and all that, yeah. Love it. Okay, so we are doing another fitness shot and this is gonna be something a little bit more moody, a little bit more editorial feeling. What we ended up doing was, you can see in the background, I threw in some textured gray canvas backdrops and we have a black board that she's leaning up against. So I've got her hair light here and a beauty dish here as her main light. Nice. High five, that's a wrap. And thanks for joining with this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I will answer them.